Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Mandatory Appendix, 1-4D. Example calculation of, thickness of, pterospherical head. Our flagship course, is Master Static Equipment Design, and PV Elite, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses, to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform, on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, we have given example of, okay, so these are the values you can consider. So here, you, if you see, there is static head also. So first we need to calculate the static head. Okay, depth of the liquid is 1500. Specific gravity of liquid 0.9. So with using rho gh, we'll calculate the static head P. Okay, which is uh, in this case it's 0 0.013 MPA. Okay. Now I'll add this static head in the internal pressure. So my total pressure is 2.013. Okay. Now uh, ground radius I'll calculate, which is nothing but ID plus 2 times T. Okay. Because it's inside, the ground radius is the inside. So I need to add the corrosion allowance also. Okay. So it will become 2003 plus 2T. See now. I don't have this T value right now, okay, because I have not calculated the T value. So I'll keep this equation in terms of T, okay. We'll find this T at the end. So all the dimensions will try to find out in terms of T, okay. If you are assuming, you'll have to do iterations, okay. So if you want to avoid iteration, you can use you know, T itself, okay, as a variable. And then we'll put that in the equation and find out. So knuckle, 6% of the crown, we have calculated crown. So 6% of that is the knuckle. Now depth of the patient. So for torus spherical, this is the formula which we use for depth calculation. Okay. For 2 is 2 1, it's easy. Okay. It's D by 4. But for torus spherical, this is the formula for depth calculation. Now, you don't need for thickness the depth, but you need for if once you are finding for external pressure, you once you need the total length, you need okay. Now PLM. Okay, we have got all that values. M still we don't know. Okay. So M, how we'll find out by using this ratio. Again, I'll use L by R in terms of T because I don't know what thickness I'm taking. Now we have all these terms in form of T. So this is how once you put that T in this equation, this is how it will look like. Okay. Now I'll try to solve this equation. Okay. It's simple equation. Don't worry. So finally I solved it and I got 26.42 as thickness no minimum design thickness this is my minimum design thickness okay now what should be my nominal thickness tell me what should be my nominal thickness so 28 32 30 30 28, 30. Great. Now, let us see okay, what we will do. So, T, what we got. Okay. First of all, like I think Akash has already mentioned, we'll add the 3 mm corrosion allowance. Okay. Now, I have added 3 mm corrosion allowance. My thickness now, the design minimum design thickness is 29.42. Now tell me what should be my nominal thickness. So Akash is saying 30. Nominal thickness, Manoj. 
nominal thickness cannot be will not be less than the design thickness nominal thickness is the plate which you are going to use to make this descent okay so suraj is saying 34 sanjay sharma is saying 10 percent more okay so that means you guys are uh, suggesting to keep the thinning allowance in consideration because once you are going to form if i have taken 34 mm there might be 10 percent thinning as a general thumb rule okay this is not a code value okay so we always struggle you know um, that how much thinning will happen okay now to sort that problem okay. see first of all let us start with 32 okay i have considered as i have taken 32 now we'll see you know whether this uh, selection is right or wrong okay so why that can be wrong because there can be thinning now if thinning is more then it can go lower than the minimum design thickness okay how to make sure you know that thinning at the knuckle because not knuckle, knuckle is the highest radius portion where that maximum fiber elongation will happen and there you will get the minimum thickness okay so to make your life simpler yes akash you are absolutely right it depends upon fabricator but once we are designing we don't know who is going to fabricate so we always struggle okay so to simplify that you can use dennis moss because once you use 10 percent it may be difficult to justify you know? so dennis moss comes to our rescue and has given a table okay so now how to use that table my thickness was 29.6 so first i'll go to this thickness part it will fall into the second category nominal thickness what i've selected 32 mm which will fall into the second one okay my diameter was less than 3800 okay so that means typical thinning allowance will be 3.175 that that is given by dennis moss so you can definitely take that value so if i take 32 mm my expected thinning will be 3.175 so after that my thickness will become 28.8 is it acceptable Fossil saying no. What about others? Thickness which I got after forming, which is 28.8, less than the minimum design thickness, 29.6. Is it acceptable? No, not at all. I cannot take, I cannot accept a thickness lower than design thickness. Then that means I'll take. 30 i'll start with again 34 mm okay again i'll do the same process i'll remove 3.175 and compare with t if that is correct then i'll use 34 so in addition we always mentioned nominal thickness nominal thickness is nothing but the plate which you will be selecting for forming and then we also take minimum thickness so that in this case we can take 30 mm you know, because 29.6 is the minimum design thickness but we'll just round it up to 30 mm so that still if some thinning happens as a designer you have something in in your pocket okay so 30 mm i'll give as a minimum that will mention in the drawing don't forget to mention the minimum thickness in the drawing because if the fabricator is not able to achieve this minimum thickness starting with 34 mm nominal you will not be responsible because you have given the 30 mm okay so as the thinning depends upon the fabricator if he is not skilled he has not done it regularly he may end up providing lots of thinning okay so in that case you will be safe because you have given that your minimum thickness should not go below 30 okay so inspection will happen on that and it will be rejected if that thickness is not met ground radius now we can find all these radiuses also because earlier it was in form of t now we have the t value so we can calculate the ground radius we can calculate the 
नकल रेडियस ओके डेफ्थ ऑफ हेड all this we can calculation we can do for in depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description